Hi, I'm Will, I'm here at Pandy Park and I'm here with Dorian for Cross Keys and we're going to be talking about the Premiership Final. Do you see the Swayler Cup Final loss affecting the team this Sunday? Hopefully in a positive. Uh, we didn't perform in the final and we, uh, we knew that when we went to Kamal then we tried to put things right. And it worked. We went there with a uh, relaxed mentality, wanting to play and that, play, that was a lot better for us. So hopefully we've learned a lot from the Swayler Cup Final and we can carry that into this Sunday. What particular weaknesses do you see in Ponting do you feel like you can exploit? Uh, Ponting are a very good team. Uh, there isn't many weaknesses, they're good up front, they're good behind. Uh, it's more of a case of focusing on we, where we were weak and what we can do a lot better. Just going there and expressing as a team rather than looking at Ponting, saying where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. We know that they're good, we just got to go there and match it really. Um, how do you feel about the fact that Ponting playing at home? Do you think it's going to affect the team at all? Or do you see it as a positive? Uh, i say it's a home advantage but we know we've been there this season and we've won that so the belief should be there, no question of that. Um, I'm quite looking forward to the fact of playing at Sardis Road, it's a great ground, great crowd and yeah I'm relishing the chance. Um, Crosskeys are quite a small uh, village team, do you see any, um, how do you see it affecting the local community? Has it been a positive doing so well in the Swing Red Cup and the Premiership? Uh, we came back to the club after the Surreal Cup and I was surprised to see how many fans were waiting for us. You know, after a big disappointing loss, to see there was 50, 100 people a year waiting for us. It's gone 10 o'clock in the night just to give us a warm welcome back. And it really meant a lot, you know, they were really proud of us even though we didn't perform on the day. And I suppose the community and the local people have come together and got behind us. And hopefully the bus will be full over the Sarge Road on Sunday. Uh, what improvements have you seen through, um, from the Cross Keys this season? Uh, we've developed as a squad really, we've had a lot of injuries, but the boys that have stepped up have really, really done well. Uh, we've bonded it as a team throughout the year and we're close knit at the moment. Uh, with the, uh, quite a decent victory against Carmarthen, um, do you feel like momentum's with you this Sunday? Uh, hopefully, we relaxed in Carmarthen. We went there saying there was nothing to lose, everything to win. No one expected us to win in Carmarthen. We went there and we played rugby and we were relaxed and I think that's when Crosskeys were at their best. How's the team feeling ahead of Sunday? Is there high motivation to go up there and do your thing or is it a bit nervous? Uh, we talked a lot about the Swilek final, built it up. I think that got the better of us. So we've just been relaxed, we chilled out, we haven't talked much about it. We've had a nice rest from Sunday. And we're just going to come and work on what, what we do and just turn up the Sardis and whatever happens, happens. Uh, you yourself have had a very good season. Do you feel um, regional rugby is going to be coming sooner rather than later or are you not focused on that? Um, this year I've just focused on my performances for cross skis. It's important that I play well and I've been lucky enough to decide to win in and be on a good pack. And obviously the Dragons are going to look at a team that's winning or losing. So hopefully I'll get some more regional game time. But at the moment I just got to focus on playing for cross skis and hopefully winning some titles.